Hi, my name is Ron Dorn, and I'm the organizer of the GCU 113 course meeting the American institutions requirement. I also might be your instructor, how, however, various individuals will teach this class formally. I am one of the co-developers of the class. I'd like to explain to you how the course works, why it meets the American institutions requirement. The catalog description of this course is specifically that it introduces American, including some Arizona, institutions integrating geography, government history, and economic perspectives. This presentation will achieve four things. Review the requirements that this class meets and the intended audience. Key syllabus topics, for example, what to purchase and grading. Walking you through Canvas, and then key information you should understand before contacting your instructor. There are three different audiences for this course. This course was built for aspiring elementary teachers. Most of the lectures came from a federal grant to prepare aspiring elementary teachers for teaching the social studies component in elementary school. Second audience are other education majors interested in the material, and but most especially interested in meeting the Constitution's requirement for teacher certification in Arizona, which this course does. The third of the audience are all students, education majors or otherwise, interested in meeting the American institution's graduation requirement. This requirement was instituted by the Arizona Board of Regents in an April 2022 meeting. However, the requirement doesn't start until fall of 2024, when all new incoming students have this three credit American institutions requirement. And here is a screenshot, or at least a piece of the ASU proposal to the Arizona Board of Regents and what this course must cover. If you're interested in reading the exact wording, you can pause and read the executive summary. There are no required purchases for this course. There's no textbook to buy. All the materials are links, either hyperlinks or PDF files. The grading is explained in the syllabus that there's a point scale, not a percentage scale. All points are equal in terms of your grade. And this comes directly from the syllabus and it's the scale I use and all instructors will use to assign your grade. To pass this class, you must earn 103 points or more in the quizzes on the subject areas listed below. How the history of the United States continues to shape the present, the basic principles of American constitutional democracy and how they are applied under a Republican form of government, the United States Constitution and major American constitutional debates and developments, the essential founding documents and how they shape the nature and functions of American institutions of self-governance, landmark Supreme Court cases that have shaped law and society, civic actions necessary for effective citizenship and civic participation in a self-governing society, for example, civil dialogue and civil disagreement, and basic economic knowledge to critically assess public policy options and to inform professional and personal decisions. These points must be earned in four modules that you will see in Canvas. And American institutions, including the basic principles, founding documents, constitution, and Supreme Court components, a civic actions module, how the history of the United States continues to shape the present module, and basic economics module. There are over 200 points available in these modules. So there's more than enough points in these core modules from which for you to reach an A plus grade. Once all of the quizzes have been taken in these modules, once you've tried them all, if you wanna learn more or if you want more points, two other modules will open up to you on other aspects of American institutions related to what aspiring elementary teachers will teach, Arizona history and the geographical spatial aspects. These are not specified by the Arizona Board of Regents, but they cast 
a shadow and very important information about American institutions. For example, it's hard to understand American institutions without understanding the role of states, focusing on Arizona and its history. Likewise, it's really hard to understand American institutions without a geographical or a spatial perspective. For example, the whole idea of red states and blue states are geographical. Why does the Senate have a focus on states, two senators from every state, but the House of Representatives is based upon proportions? These proportion to population, these are geographical issues that are a part of American institutions, but they're not part of the core. The core is what's required, but individual instructors can craft a more detailed course, and I have. It's important for you to understand that the grading is not a percentage system where you score an average or start with an A and see your grade to grade. This normal grading is madness because you're punished for any glitch, no matter your progress. This course uses accrual grading Everything you do only gets you further, like in video games. So challenge by challenge, you accrue points and help your grade grow. The problem is the Canvas gradebook is not made for an accrual grading system. I cannot turn off the percentage information in Canvas or the out of information. These confused students, just ignore them. The only thing that's important are the accumulated points. Due dates are at the end of the session. The exact date is at the top of the syllabus. Big, bold letters. You can't miss it. The lack of due dates for any particular assignment provides lots of flexibility for students with crazy work, crazy family schedules, are those, for example, on active duty that may be pulled out of action for a few weeks and can't access the material. But the lack of specific due dates for assignments is a problem for people who need to set schedules. So you need to set your own schedule and there's a very simple pacing guide. Let's say you want 160 points needed to earn an A+. So if you are in a seven and a half week session, take 160 divided by seven weeks, giving you a half a week slop. And that means that there's 23 points per week. If you're a five and a half week summer session, divide 160 by five, and that's 32 points a week. The number one reason for students not doing well is you get behind. They pretend like you never signed up for the class. You start late, you get behind, you miss the deadline and nope, Nothing will be accepted after the date specified in the syllabus. So now comes the Canvas walkthrough. The first module that you'll see in Canvas is the American Institutions module that includes basic principles, founding documents, the Constitution, and the Supreme Court. These are the seven through five, through two, I'm sorry, there are seven items specified by the Arizona Board of Regents and agreed to by ASU. This module blends together the second through the fifth components. And there's lots of overlap in reality between two through five. So these lectures were organized by a PhD political scientist. And so they are in a way that made sense to political scientists. So I've drawn lines to show how the different requirements are met by the different lectures. Focus on the very top page, information about the American Institutions module. All of the readings and all of the lectures are linked through this top page in each of the modules. Then comes the American history module, which is how the history of the United States continues to shape the present. And these were lectures developed by an American historian as a part of a federal grant. These lectures are extremely long. Historians often like long lecture formats. And so the quizzes have been broken up into the first half and the second half of these very long lectures. Then comes the module on civic actions, 
which is the sixth component of the ABLE requirement. And again, the very top page lists where you can get the action, where you can get access to the lectures and readings about the different quizzes you'll take in this module. Then comes basic economic knowledge. And these lectures are by experts in economics. And again, the information on how you access the lectures and any reading material is on the top page. I stress again that in these core modules, you have to complete all of the quizzes if you want to get access to the optional modules that I'll talk about in a second. And you also must complete 103 points in these four modules in this core seven topics required to pass the class. Now there's well over 200 points available in these four modules, but if you need additional access to points, or if you're just interested in learning more material related to Arizona history and geography, then when you complete or when you submit all of the quizzes, the other two modules will open up and that's history of Arizona and geographical perspectives on American institutions. But notice in Canvas, there's the prerequisite. That means that you have to complete all of the core modules before either of these two additional modules open up to you. Now comes the common questions that you are tempted to email your instructor. And if you email these questions, they're going to know that you didn't watch this presentation and they're going to know that you didn't even read the syllabus and they're going to know you didn't even take the syllabus quizzes. So focus on the last part of this presentation. The quizzes have to be finished at once, but they are not timed and you cannot repeat them. So that means you're going to have to take notes and study the material before you take the quiz. Do you see the shuffle answers? That means that there's a big pool of questions that are taken randomly and the questions are shuffled. And again, there's no time limit, but there are no multiple attempts. Another thing you have to do before anything else is to take the required syllabus quiz. And the idea of the syllabus quiz is to review the core pieces of the syllabus so that you're not asking questions that you should have gotten the answer to in the syllabus. So you can take the syllabus quiz as many times as you want, but you have to earn 100%. Here are some examples of questions. Where do you find the readings? And where do you find any transcripts that may be available on the lectures? The correct answer is the page at the top of each module has all of the lecture links, transcripts links, and reading links. And this is what one looks like for the civics actions module. And this is what one looks like for the US history module. Here's another question. When you're asked for a logon and a password to access some of the lectures, like the Adobe Presenter format lectures, what do you type? Well, that's a common question that students ask instructors because they never memorized or never read the syllabus and never watched this presentation that for lots of material in this class, the material is hidden behind a pass, uh, hidden in, an, in a folder that requires the GCU 600 logon and the password Gaia. So write it down now. Should you pay attention to the percentage information you see in Canvas? The correct answer is no. Ignore percentage information. The only relevant information are the points that you accumulate. Where would you go to find out the grading scale? How many points are needed? The answer is the syllabus link in Canvas. Don't email the professor. This is information that you should be able to look at and read in the syllabus. So what happens when you have questions? 
the best place for questions are the discussion board. These are questions that you have about the class that other students will have. But if you have personal items uh, related to your grade, then you should email your instructor. For example, me, if I'm teaching the class, email ronald.dornadasu.edu, but don't email about your grade from a Gmail or an I or a Yahoo or a non-ASU email, because faculty are not allowed to answer questions about your grade unless it's coming from an ASU email account. Another common question is, how do I appeal a question that you think you put down the right answer? Well, if you disagree with the scoring of an assignment, there's a procedure that you follow. First, take a screenshot of the question that you're disputing and email that screenshot to your instructor. Please don't use your phone. If you use your cell phone, your instructor has full privilege to just send it back because you didn't follow instructions. T pictures from cell phones are really hard to read sometimes. Just learn how to use the computer, learn how to take a screenshot and email the screenshot of the question. The email must be sent from your ASU email account. And then you need to explain in paragraphs why you think your answer is correct. In particular, you need to explain why the other choices are not correct. The instructor will then evaluate your appeal based upon your level of understanding of the material, what you used as sources to support your position, and then perhaps reward you or perhaps grant the point. In summary, this presentation has reviewed the requirements that this class meets in the intended audience, key syllabus topics, walking you through modules in Canvas, and key information you should understand before contacting your instructor. I hope you found this useful, and I hope you enjoy the class. Thanks.